back with T. Uh, let's just sit off there, actually, with the cup. And while that's steeping, we can look at... Again, I'm not really certain I want to let these go. Um, these were expensive and uh, relatively and are valuable. They are made in California. Oh, this brand is difficult to read here, but let's see, that may be showing up on camera. Maybe somebody will know. It is in a size large. And they're yoga pants, so they're cut this way. And then they're like droopy, that's how they look. That's the style. And they have rather a nice thick elastic waistband the whole way round. Okay. And now the fabric is getting fairly precious, a bit thin towards the middle, but there are no holes as far as I know yet. As I say, these are just about to go into the laundry with the washing. So, because I think I was supposed to do underwear modeling, so I'm just going to put these on. They're super cozy and comfy. pockets, which, I mean, to be honest, you don't really want to put, like, a wallet or a cell phone or anything. They're going to fall out, flop out, but um, maybe a key or a quarter or, I don't know, yeah, a key when you're at the yoga studio. So, yeah, I should probably keep these. Anyway, they're going in the wash. These are cotton spandex mix, I believe. Um, yeah, they're in really great condition. So, yeah, probably not. And what else? Oh, right. This t shirt. Size is actually, I believe, on this one, it's medium, and it's a cotton t shirt with a black and white screen print or not a screen print, but a transfer print. Yeah, let me just keep this one as well. Um, obviously, there's these Hollister shorts. This um, Blunt Brothers. And what this actually is is an American Apparel. Um, what do they call it? Uh, I think they just call it. Uh, they, they must have called it like a long sleeve tee. But it's better than that. It's it's a, it's a lightweight sweater. Long sleeve. And it's an American Apparel size M, which their sizing is oddball, but um, I found their size M to, 
to suit me to a T. So there it is on the back, the original branding, Blunt Brothers, Vancouver, Canada. So that's into the, this is the pile of um, laundry that was about to be going into the cold wash, which is what we're preparing. Usually, usually do the cold wash load first which is your more delicate um, things with elastic such as this bike jog strap um, even though the elastic is fairly stretched out on this compared to when it was new it still does have some a bit of good give and stretch and the whole cup has got you know uh, it's rubber, spandex, latex blend with some cotton too, I think. Um, it does give out over time. Like even if you don't wear these, they just sit in the drawer, they do expire eventually. So this one's still got a little bit life in it. What happens mainly is the waistbands tend to give out and then it's suitable for somebody larger possibly. I originally purchased this as a size L, so this is a large starting out. The with the waist now, you know, I'm, if I let it go, I'd suggest somebody probably more along with a 34 to 36 inch waist would still suit again. Otherwise, it's in good, great condition, really. This, so they're just about to go into their cold water wash now. So. People purchase um, male-worn things for a lot of various reasons, any number of reasons I can imagine. So I simply ask people, do you want your article um, clean or worn? That's all. And I've, if, it's, if it's worn, I just provide it after wearing it as I normally would for a day or so. And I don't, that, that's just, uh, that's, that's, that's what we do. Um, <laughs> it just doesn't suit, it suits me fine either way, really, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's, it's just part of the process that's maybe a little bit different in this particular <laughs> line of objects than any other. Um, because, yeah, some people do, for whatever reasons of their own, prefer to have it uh, not just already worn, but um, really just like freshly worn <laughs> or recently worn uh, through. So, you know, all bets are off when it comes to that <laughs> because, you know, one of the reasons I wear, this is a but one of the reasons that I wear... Uh, like to wear layers of underwear, which I suppose is another reason why maybe my underwear lasts so well, uh, is that, um, yeah, I do, like, I do leak or drip or dribble or, you know, various other things <laughs> come out of me and may, um, you know, be visible on the underwear before it's washed or, you know, after I, after it's been worn. And... I just had to like let go my suspicion and um, judgment. Finally, I mean, really, what is it? So we're all dirt to earth, up ashes to ashes, or whatever. So, and here's a good example of that. These uh, gyms are, as you can see clearly, they're they're generating holes at the bottom. Um, otherwise, they're in great shape. Well, they don't have as much stretch as the bot that used to. Or maybe that's me. But anyway, again, um, well, they were originally only a size M. They were a medium gym. And a medium gym is much snugger than these are now. So these are fitting more like an L now than an M. Um, but otherwise yeah they're not they're lovely they're really nice you know they're black they go with anything 
uh, there's a little bit of like a, a white stain, which is like maybe ripped off with some bleach or something. Who knows what on the front? Slightly discolored white. It's a little bit at the bottom too, I can see. And this is dirt. This is just like it's turned white. And there are clearly holes at the very bottom. So if you're particular about that, well then, no, they're not. But if one somebody just wants something like, you could even wear it as a onesie, like as a gym short, with maybe just a thong or a jog strap underneath. And you can even wear these externally. As long as you're wearing another layer underneath, you know, why not? You could wear these as your exterior layer. Even. Um, it's not how they're intended, but I have worn them that way, like playing basketball or whatever. Uh, <laughs> it did cause a couple of glances. So those are going into the cold water wash, along with everyth everything else on this program. Oh. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of, um, a lot of speaking. I need some tea. Let's get back with some real tea. <laughs> 